Okay, so I've actually had some time to play with this thing, and uh, it's pretty cool. And so I was, uh, I basically have uploaded a sketch that has everything, like basically every sensor doing something. It has a buzzer that I've turned off just because I didn't want it to be beeping during the uh, the video. But I mean, it has the ultrasonic sensor set up, and you can tell, you know, how far things are away. The temperature sensor is working telling us the humidity and the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, you can move the little, um, the little servo motor, you can push the button and, and things happen and you push this button and the RGB lights up and all that kind of stuff. These different things adjust, you can adjust the pitch of that buzzer noise. You have the little microphone going off over here, the thermistor. All that kind of stuff is working and there's example code and all that kind of stuff and so that's been pretty fun and I've been playing around with it I wanted to see what I could do and so I modified it up I'll, I'll try to cut to a video of me playing it but I made a little Simon type memory game where you have to push the button and and uh, and remember the pattern and all that kind of stuff and it's it's cool like everything just feels quality everything just um, it works the code examples work there's really detailed things that we'll get to later about it but it's just been it's been fun it's been fun to play with and just uh, I don't know if I said this in the unboxing but it's pretty neat like when I hooked up these buttons I can come down here and flip these switches off and that disconnects the sensors that were connected to those pins before and now I'm using this and there's just a lot of things that make this really versatile I was able to go from the the built-in system to a breadboard and and this this system will transition with me so I have a system here then I have the ability to expand it with a breadboard and then I have the ability to break it apart and use these sensors in individual projects and so there, there's something to that there's a lot of value to that and we're gonna go over there and take a look at the code and see how all that looks so let's get an idea of what the overall user experience is like with this and that really comes down to the software and uh, so when we look at it they have their stuff on their website and I'm just going to use this example sketch of the 1602 LCD and what's really cool about it they've obviously spent some time on all the graphics and they're showing you how behind the scenes how beneath the surface all of these things are wired together and what pins everything is going to and uh, then they'll get into a little bit more detail about how the actual LCD works and how it's really wired up behind the scenes if you were to just take one of these little raw LCD panels and showing you how to adjust the brightness and things like that and then they're going to give some instructions on how to install the libraries which I mean when you get into to really using an Arduino that's part of it you need to know how to find the libraries how to install them all that kind of stuff and then they're going to give you not just one but multiple example sketches of different things you can do with the LCD so for those of you that don't know anything about the company they were founded in Korea and have been around Korea for a while and they're just now beginning their plan for global domination and so a lot of their examples have comments and things like that they were originally in Korean and have been translated and some people don't feel like they did a as good of a job as they could have done with that I don't think it's bad I mean I can read it fine it doesn't really bother me but I could understand if you're completely new to this that you would not um, you may not understand the true meaning of why certain lines are, are saying certain things and so we'll get into that a little bit more um, as we go on but just to, to show you they're continually showing you like not just install this library but these are the different functions and things like that the methods that are built into these classes and I think that's really cool that they um, they actually go through and, and document these libraries and so you'll see there's multiple sketches that you could upload to the thing and and, and do custom characters and they even show you a little bit about binary and, and things like that as you look down here how to draw a heart you know by basically turning each one of these things on and off and and that's very very cool like it that's that's kind of going above and beyond what you had to do to um, to show how an LCD works and I think that's I think that's pretty sweet and so one of the things I think with this kit is you could go as simple as just upload the sketch and start mashing buttons and playing with it or you can really get down into the weeds and find out like how do all these things work like hey sending serial commands to your LCD screen I mean that that's not a typical starter kit type of thing but it's cool because you can learn 
as you go. Now, it's kind of funny. You see like words like falsehood, which is probably not how we would translate it in English. And so that brings me to my next thing. What I decided to do just kind of as a, a community service was to make a GitHub repository. And so what I was thinking is that um, I have a thing where all those sketches are up here. And as we in the community find things that are translated poorly or ways that we can make improvements to these sketches, we can either duplicate them or we can um, just come in here and make uh, commits to, to fix those things. And then there's also, if you come back here, there's also a place for community sketches. And so I actually have a couple more to push out, but this is a, this is my RGB memory game, almost like that game Simon. And it's it's not fantastic code, but it uh, it works. And so like once you're done with the initial things that you can do with the kit, we can upload our sketches here where you can uh, play the little line jumping game, almost like a Flappy Bird clone, or you can uh, play Simon or play any of these other games and, and learn a little bit more about how some of this code works. And so uh, this GitHub repository is just a Mudmin coding array. And so feel free to make pull requests and things like that to that. And uh, and let's let's build a repository for this thing. Let's build a, a place where people can store these sketches. And uh, I have some more sketches that are being uploaded. In fact, one of them that isn't in the actual initial thing and I'll, I'll show you a little demo but there's a, a sketch here where I'm jumping around there's a sketch here where basically every single bit of the system is working all at once and so if you go into the of official sketches there's a sketch where like basically all the sensors are merged into that one board and so you can kind of see everything working at one time and so um anyway I think it's a very good kit I think it's well worth the money I think there's a lot to it what sets this apart is that there are other easy to get started kits. There are ones that are pre-wired or ones that have little magnets or, or things like that. What I think sets this one apart is that when you're done with it, none of these things are, oh, they're just the little starter kit pieces. When you're done, you can break that thing out and have an actual Arduino clone board. The, the sensors that you can use on this, you can use with any other Arduino and, and stuff like that. And I think that's good. Like this isn't just a kit that you buy and then once you learn what you need to know, you just kind of all the pieces sit in the drawer. All these pieces are really usable for other things. And so anyway, that's my take on it. And if you haven't signed up for the contest, I encourage you to sign up at ArduinoFB.com to win one of these boards. And, you know, just a little statement, it, it would be really helpful if you would subscribe and hit like and hit the bell and comment and all that stuff. And, and we'll keep getting awesome partners to donate boards to these contests. And, uh, yeah, thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed it.